Hey everybody, Ween here. Welcome back to Hard Land. I did an episode on this earlier. I'll have a link down in the description if you want to check that out about how we kind of came to be at this point at level, I think we're level three. <laughs> and I've been running around, just did a little bit of a loop since the last time you saw me, if you saw that previous episode. Um, just doing a little bit of exploring and I've decided to loop back around and come up here to check this place out. I kind of ran by it, um, jumped down the hill and continued over to a little town nearby and um, looped back through the woods and here we are again so let's check this out as I said I kind of ran up here but skipped by I didn't talk to people here how are you doing have you been to Snow Peak that town has freezing weather sounds like it where would Snow Peak be I wonder I wonder if we can see any big mountain I don't know maybe it's that but I'm seeing a castle or a fort on top of that hill right across over there that's cool. I want to check out a place like that that's up on a hill. But I really want to walk into here and see what this place looks like. You got these monks walking around. This place looks cool. I like how open it is. It doesn't look like there's glass up there. What? Did you just grumble at me? <laughs> it sounded like a roar. We've got some bookcases here. Very cool. Is there anything we can investigate? No. The Holy Book, Volume 1. Let's examine it. On that evening, the king died and darkness fell over the hard land. Okay, interesting. Can we kind of take it? <laughs> Let's go ahead and scoop it up. Um, of course, they're monks, so they have to have their beverages here. Good day. Hello, hello. Yeah, let's see. Oh, coffin key. I love keys. Sweet. There's all kinds of keys in this game to all kinds of different things. Um, and... I think I know where a coffin is. This is gonna be awesome. Um, there is a cave. Let's talk to this guy real quick. Let me give me another look. You look familiar, has to be the eyes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We can steal from him, let's see what he has. Food, yeah, we'll leave him alone. We don't wanna cause trouble in the monks, uh, <laughs> in the monastery here. Um, so yes, I have a key, it's a coffin key. And I actually know um, where a coffin is. Um, let me kind of roll back here really quick because I do want to just kind of take a look at some people around here. We got various graves. You can investigate these, I think. Or I guess not all of them. Some of them. There you go. We were walking by one. This is an old one. It's starting to get dark out here. <laughs> Let's get our torch out. And there's a guy back here. And he has coffins. So did any of these take a key? Whoops. Oh, sorry. Uh, erps. My bad. <laughs> I guess you can knock these over. Uh, sorry about that. Yeah, just looking to see if I can unlock any of these. Can we go in this place? No. I'm looking for a locked coffin. Surely you have one. Okay, well, let's let's head out of the monastery. Um, I want to get over to this. There was a merchant place I stepped into and didn't check out very much. I want to get back to that in the little loop I did. But I wanted to show you something kind of cool. We can carry this chicken. <laughs> I don't know if he's very happy about it. And we're going to just kind of sprint our way over here. I guess you can't sprint when you're carrying some. We're going to jump and hit the tree and jump. Check it out. You float when you got the chicken. And yes, made it. <laughs> I actually thought I might not make that. Here you go, buddy. We're going to let you go. This is a better view down here by the water. There you go. Okay, let's see. Uh, across the bridge. I think the town thing's over here. I'm not really sure what this is. Some kind of portal thing. It may be where you appear if you take a certain portal. Um, you're okay, right? Yeah. You're fine. Let's cruise this way, though. Like I said, there was this place. Oh, I think it's right here. Um, it looked like a merchant place. And I just ran right by it. I stuck my head in here and kept looping around. But I don't know what they had for sale. Oh, I should have thought about that. The people are gone now. <laughs> Obviously, there's food around here, and we can actually chop some of this up, right? Well, there's guards here. Okay, they don't care. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, carrots, right? You're in the way. I'm trying to pick up carrots. Go. Take all this food. No. Cool. And then we've got, there's no other merchants. Ooh, wait, climb down? Yeah, we're definitely checking that out. Let's see. No other merchants here. Let's actually chop some more of this stuff up real quick. And then I'm definitely going to go down that well. 
lots of food here. I should I should probably not do this because this stuff may disappear. And, it, and if I'm going to break it, I might be able to break it at another time when I actually need it. <laughs> I don't really need all this food. And it's just kind of rude, right? Let's cruise back up here. What is this well? It said go down. Climb down. And there's a bucket. Can we see in there? No? Okay, what about you? What do you say about this well? The smartest goblin brutes learn to use crossbows. They can be really dangerous. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. I thought you might tell me about the well. Let's um, let's check this out here. Climb down. Eh. Let's, whoop. Uh, okay, here we go. My health is good, so that's good. Um, this might be dangerous. I don't know. <laughs> um. Oh, that's cool. This bucket's just swinging here. Okay. Oh, that's actually how we get up. Nice. Climb up. Very cool. I'm afraid to walk off of this. Um, oh, I don't have a choice. Ow. <laughs> oh, no. No, don't drown. Get me out of here. <sighs> oh, this is no good. Uh, you take so much damage. How do you get out of this pool? It's a trap. Ugh, there's gotta be a way out. Guts to be. Maybe this way. Wait. Oh, phew. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you just cannot swim. I wonder if there's anything you could take that allows you to swim. Okay, let's cruise over here. We got some torches. <clears throat> I'm gonna backtrack up here real quick. I'll take a peek around here. It's pretty cool looking. And I think that's where it came from. Okay, I don't know if this goes back outside. That would be cool. Um, oh, creepy sounds. Stay away. Um, no. <laughs> Get torches on the wall, so... Uh, oh! Oh, dang! A coffin? This is exactly what we were looking for. Um, can we unlock this here with that key? I guess so. <gasps> Oh no! Ah. Get the sword out, Ween. Get the sword out! Wait, uh, I might have lost my shield. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have a shield right there. I forgot I had to eat because my food was low. Okay, cool. Let's get my shield up here. Hector Sereno actually left me a comment saying, You need to block with your shield. You're taking way too much damage. Yeah, that sounds like me not to use this. Are you stuck back there? Shield up. Swing. Oh, I thought I killed her right off the bat. I was like, that was sweet. I just chopped her down. Um, let's back out of here real quick. Uh, <laughs> leave me alone. Um, do I have anything like that? Oops, wrong button. Drink that. Okay, that filled us up. Let's try that again. I want to be using the ax, not the, not the sword. And I can't tell, am I losing? I'm at 548 life. Am I losing life? I've got this effect on me. I'm not entirely sure what that is. It doesn't seem to be doing any damage to me. Alright, let's get in there and try to chop. Chop. Try, okay, block. I don't know that this witch is doing anything. Okay, I'm just going to chop and hopefully... Um, she can't do 100 or 548 damage in one single spell or hit. I'm going to not do the shield. Sorry, Hector. I'm just going to see how this goes. I don't know what this witch is doing right now. Just spewing green everywhere. Can't tell. My stamina doesn't seem to be kind of bleeding out. My armor doesn't seem to be affected. Okay, just about got the witch down. Just go away. Okay. <laughs> Well, that wasn't too bad. It didn't seem to take any damage. I'm really not sure that that green uh, cloud was doing anything, so maybe I don't need to worry about it too much. I'm not sure if there's anything here for me to pick up. Uh, we can take the witch's hat. Okay. Whew. I guess that's it. There's no loot. It just spawned a, it just spawned a witch. Okay, well, I think we've basically explored this to the extent that we can. I will double check on my way out, but I'm going to actually try to head out of here. Look at the lighting here. I just love that. You can see the gaps up there. The sunlight coming down in here moving. So cool. Now, before I leave, I saw this fire here, 
and I thought it was just like some kind of torch, but it looks like there's a key in there, and this is going to be like a jumping puzzle, right? Um, let's just figure out, where's the path? Is that the path out? I think it is. Just so we know, oh no, I slipped! <laughs> so I know where to go. Yeah, this is the path out. Let's try that again. We are not drowning, we're fine. This time I'll try not to slide off of the rock. We gotta get jumping here. <gasps> oh no! I thought I might have to sprint for it, but apparently not. Ugh. One more time. I think we'll get it this time. I don't. I, I don't think I need to sprint. Let's try some normal jump in here, Weem. <laughs> and one more. Ugh. There we go. Uh, sure. We'll take the bucket and toss it. Oh! oh. <laughs> no! I'm so terrible at this. Okay, one last time. Here we go. We got this. Jump and jump okay I don't see oh it's a hammer it's not a key how do I pick that up oh if you can't pick this up I'm gonna be super sad I'm gonna fall off trying though oh I can't seem to pick that up how cool would that be it's like flaming hammer okay so I realize standing here I can actually go into inventory and it shows ground and there's nothing there so I don't think we can take that hammer let's just go ahead and head out of here in fact, I just knocked it into the water. Nice. Okay, I feel a little bit bad about it, but there was a cart and I actually overturned it. I just ran into it until it tipped over. And then I broke it apart. There were some bags inside and they gave me some money. So now I feel a little less guilty because that money was there for me, I think. <laughs> so let's see. Um, Where are we? This guy's wandering around. Let's check this out. I haven't been over here yet. Ah, here you go. More bags. And now that I know that this is money, well, I mean, now I just have to have it. Maybe they don't all have money, but... <laughs> see, can we just tip you over? Get enough? No money in those bags. Okay, that's fine. We can carry the cart, though. <laughs> Chuck that. Okay, I might break all of this down. I'm not gonna lie. This is like Diablo, right? This is all about, like, breaking crates and barrels and finding all kinds of loot, right? See, there's a bunch of money. That's cool. I'll take that. I'm actually kind of curious how much money I'm getting from this. If we look at this, we're at twenty-one eighty-seven currently. So if I run across any more money uh, from this stuff, I can know what we're looking at here. Can I take a crossbow? We can take a wooden crate. Let's, can we break this up? Maybe this will drop uh, crossbows. That'd be amazing. I really want a ranged weapon. I want to mess around with that a bit. Uh, whoops. Mm, this guy just showed up as I kind of wrecked his place. <laughs> Sorry, man. Let's talk, though. Let's see. I'm the best blacksmith in this region. Smithy is the name, of course. If you ever need your weapons or armor repaired, you're talking to the right man. Uh, let's talk about your weapons. Tell me about your weapons. The craft weapons as well, but my enchanted hammer fell into the town well. What? I missed that hammer, and I hope one day to recover it. Oh, well, tell you what. We'll find it. Sure. Be grateful if you could find it. Awesome. We can totally do that. We know exactly. Well, wait a second. I knocked it in the water. <laughs> I don't know if we can find it. Um, we'll try though. Let's cruise over here. A couple things I wanted to touch on that I completely forgot to at the top of this is that a number of you offered me various suggestions or things to try and I do want to get to those. So I'm going to actually um, fill you in on those briefly. I've noted some of them. Let's climb down here first though. Okay, as I come down here, um, looking at my notes, Anson Pants Ninja said, Are the ghouls afraid of fire? They seem to run from your torch. Um, I want to try that. Um, I hadn't thought of that. I actually thought they were running because it was nighttime, but it's entirely possible they were running because I happened to be carrying a torch at that time. So I definitely want to try that. Now, here's the problem. Um, I don't see this thing. <gasps> Wait, that's the bucket. No, don't drown, Weem. Oh, I can't stand there. I gotta try to look down. It fell in the water here. I'm gonna die if I keep doing this. Okay, we're gonna have to come back to this, I think. I'm gonna try to get out of here safely. No, I'm not gonna make it. Oh, whew. Okay, so we're down in the well, but let me run through some of your guys' comments real quick. Some things that I want to try and get to. Probably not this episode, but over the course of the next few. And yes, I do want to do another one or two more episodes of this at least. Could do more. 
Uh, Ants and Pants Ninja said, Are the ghouls afraid of fire? They seem to run from your torch. That's entirely possible. I'm glad you mentioned that, because I thought they were kind of running from me um, just because of the time of day, but I didn't pay attention to that. It might actually be because of the fire. Plasmatic Silver said, If you put on the ghoul helmet and then go see the rotten merchant, maybe you can trade with them. Oh, we're definitely trying that now. <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. That's a very good idea. Mr. Blank 1988 said, We have to see how the gun does. Uh, I definitely want to get a gun. Um, I didn't realize in that video that I did uh, uh, previous to this, I talked about buying the gun um, and thought that I was close to having enough money, but they're 5000 so we definitely have to earn some more money. Um, let's see. Hardware UK said food heals and gives other bonuses. Most new players don't know this and think uh, and think only potions heal. Um, it's true. I didn't know that. Um, but I've been eating some food. I, I, I ate some to heal. And while I, I don't know if I have food that does anything beyond healing, um, it's entirely possible. Um, it's good to know that. I did not know that food. there was food that did other things. Um, you, you could see I've got just like heal stuff here. So, anyway, very good. Very good to know. And then Hector Serrano said, you need to block with your shield, something I mentioned earlier. Um, I definitely do need to block more with my shield. So, here's the problem. The fiery hammer, I kicked into the water on accident. <laughs> that was no good. And so, I'm trying to kind of think about that. I was here, and it went like this direction. The tough thing is I'm going to be taking damage as I try to get to that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to equip a potion right off the bat. Um, 50%, 25%. We have a poison. Definitely don't want a poison. A wild boar potion. Hmm, probably not helpful. Uh, skull. I wonder if you could ever wear like a fish head and like breathe underwater. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. I don't see anything else here immediately that I would imagine would be helpful in this situation. Um, so... We just have to kind of dive in, but let's actually grab at least this potion and come off the torch so that we're holding the potion. So if we right click, we're going to heal and I'm just going to have to hop around in the water and try and spot it. We spotted the bucket when it was in the water, so I believe that we'll be able to hopefully spot this torch. I don't see it. Oh, this is no good. It's no good. Just need to see an indication. We can pick it up. Nope, let's heal. Okay, healed. And then we just gotta get out of here. Okay, well, that's a mission we're not gonna be able to do. I mean, it was gonna be so easy, and it was gonna be the first one we actually completed, but um, that's just a little brutal, and I'm not seeing it down there. So we're gonna go ahead and head out of here and continue our adventures. Okay, now that we're out here, I just kind of want to give you an indication of the map and where we are at. Um, I'm all the way over here. That's, that's all I know. <laughs> it says we're on the outskirts, outskirts of Town of Fortuna, um, which I guess is here. I think we started over here. Seems about right. Um, so anyway, I just, I want to do some exploring. The map seems, you know, pretty big. Oh, maybe we started over here. I don't quite recall. So you can see I've run around a little bit here and they're doing some exploring a while back, but we've been over on this side. Now we're at the edge of the map. I'm very curious about what it's like at the edge of the map. So that's a thing that I want to do at some point as well. But I think what we'll do is we'll stick over in this area to do some exploring. I see a green plus, but that's not indicated over here on the uh, legend. So I'm not sure what that means. I'm kind of curious. Um, so we could cruise over in that direction and check it out. And then maybe we go north at that point. Um, Let's see, I'm kind of facing the right direction-ish. It's kind of over here. I'm just very curious what's out here. Okay, so it might be this portal. And I don't know what this means. Um, do you spawn here? Whoa. Oh, you get healed here. Nice. There you go, healed to full. I mean, it makes sense it's a green plus, but I didn't imagine it would heal me. I just thought it maybe, maybe it was a respawn. <laughs> if you died close enough to it, I don't know. But, um... Let's see. It is going to start to get dark here. Um, and I would like to save the game. And again, if you watch the previous video, you'll know that that my assumption right now is that you save... Oh, look at this mess. <laughs> you save uh, anytime you zone in and out of some place. Um, I can't walk in this place. So I'd like to find a place that I can walk into it and potentially save my game. Here's the town where we went in the well. Let's go this way. we got some buildings over here. Cruise over here, a couple little places. A monk over there. Can we go in here? We can! Let's do this! 
Oh, cool. It's uh, much larger in here than outside. <laughs> There's no upstairs, but this should count for us, so <laughs> it's pretty good. Well, laugh all you want, lady. I got the axe, though. You better watch it. This is a very peaceful village. Hmm. What if I did something, though? I want to <clears throat> break your crates. Excuse me. <clears throat> See if we get anything here. So rude, just coming into other people's places and breaking their stuff. One more. There we go. Okay, nothing. All right, I'll leave you guys alone. Where'd you go? <laughs> they disappeared because it's nighttime, I guess. Alrighty, well, I think we're going to go ahead and leave it at that. It was a fun little day. We did a loop. I showed you a couple things that I wanted to check out. The well was very interesting. I wish I hadn't knocked the hammer down in there, but who knows? Maybe that will end up getting reloaded in time. I'll have to go check the well again at some point because I'd like to help that guy out. Maybe he could make us some cool weapons and armor, things like that. But I think next time we'll do a bit of an exploring here. There's a larger building up there. Um, I can't remember if we can go in there. I feel like I'm going to try it. I don't remember. We'll explore this town a bit and then maybe we will um, head out. Maybe we'll go like north. Just head out into the wilderness and see what's out here. I'm really anxious to... Uh, explore this map and just and check out everything it has to offer. I think there's lots of cool possibilities out there for us. So I hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you're interested and uh, let me know what you think of all of this in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Otherwise, I will catch you next time.